this sheeting has all dried now we're up to you're going to need um, two of these and you'll notice that one bit is thicker than the other so the idea is it matches onto there like so so that needs gluing onto there one little tip where this sits onto the leading edge I'm going to just take chamfer the edge off and I'm going to hold it over the edge of the bench and you can either run a planer over it but I think it's a little bit thin for that and I'm just going to take let's see if I can show this there you go easier for you I'm just going to take and make put an edge on that and gently so that will now fit on there nicely so that when it's I can then that fits in there nicely now so there's that and then the next thing is we've got wood strips which are going to run across the tops of all these ribs they're called cap strips now it doesn't tell you in the build pictures and you could run into trouble here if you steamed ahead without checking so there are three sheets with the capping strips these these and these here now I have identified through measuring them is that the smaller one goes on to the end rib so what you don't want to do is just happily go along uh, gluing these in because they are actually cut to specific lengths and they've got an angle on them so one is going to fit onto here like so that one I've labelled as R7 because that's the R7 rib the next pack remember there's four there so there's um, each wing tip top and bottom and then this four I've called R6 because they're going onto rib six here top and bottom left and right and then the last series of all these cap strips are now going to fit on this one this one and this one so I'm now going to add all of those so I've added the front cap strips this little sheeting here both sides remembering just to take off the angle that fits underneath so it just fits onto that spar slightly better the first cap strip from this sheet I have added to here um, remembering you've got an angle at the uh, at the back here so they are all angled to match the uh, angle of the trailing edge a couple of tips on adding the cap strips I'm going to do number seven first now our seven are from this sheet and you'll notice they've already got the angle to them the other thing to remember is, is on the outside tip you're not extending either side of the rib so the end one fits flush with the trailing edge I don't know if you can see that or not there you go like that now the idea is obviously we're going to be gluing that all the way to the end but it's going to sit proud on that spar So when we add the cap strip like so getting the angle right it comes over like this and then that is standing proud now to get that to fit nicely we're going to be doing this procedure I've got a 9mm drill bit now what I'm going to do is remembering that the angle is at the trailing edge the first five or six mil all I'm going to do is I'm just going to push that down so let me just say hope you can see that that's going to pop on there like so and I'm going to push hard down and your left with that taper 
I'm sorry about the uh, noise. Um, one of the local buzzards has just taken off, so all the um, seagulls have gone absolutely mental. So let me go back now. So I flatten that off. So now, with that fitted like so, that's going to run along here and then you get a lovely finish on the leading edge and you need to do that for seven six five and four so I'm just about to add R6 now um, if you're feeling brave I wouldn't advise this if you've not used balsa before but if you just slowly do that don't overdo it because it's easy to break but just very gently you'll find the heat that's being generated by your hand will put a curve in it done I'm now going to flip the wing over and we've got to do exactly the same thing so uh, it will be these sheeting here this sheeting here all the cap strips exactly the same the top surface we've got to make a slight change because at the moment we have these little feet that we've been carefully looking after now these now need to be removed in the instructions or in the pictures I should say they literally show you doing that to remove them and then I'm going to just clean it up like so bearing in mind you want that nice and smooth because that's where a cat strip came so let me just show you that again a pair of these I'll pop that down under there like so it came off and I just cut the excess off but I will just check with the file as well so having removed all of those then we can go on to doing the uh, cap strips and sheeting again just run your fingers over and make sure that you've not got anything standing proud or blobs of glue that are going to spoil your day right there you go so that is the under surface now sheeted a um, little bit of sanding it all wants sort of rubbing in and binding in here just all blending in uh, but let's that's the next stage done and then we're going to start looking at doing some construction for the center section but that's the next episode <laughs>